Whoa. I'm just going to be camping on a cloud, aren't I? I just know it. Oh, no. Oh, what a cool place. Yeah, don't fall down there. That's dodgy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Good morning. I'm in the Yorkshire Dales, up in Yorkshire. And uh, today the plan is to go for a bit of a wild camp. Um, I've packed far too much stuff. It's, uh, it's November, so I've brought two sleeping bags, probably far too much water, probably far too much food. Um, and I'm only going for one night. So I'm just hoping I get a bit of a view tonight because I'm looking to camp on top of a, on top of a hill, a place called Ruva Crag. But hopefully I'll be able to show you that later. Here we are, it's a dry stone wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of those. That's what I'm learning about Yorkshire. There's a lot of dry stone walls about. There's also a lot of mud, <laughs> which I'm trying my best to avoid, for now at least, because I don't want to get wet feet. Yeah, it's definitely getting soggier underfoot. So we're just coming through a place called Swineside. Just look at these houses. Like, no messing around. Those things are going to last, aren't they? Wassail evening. I thought it was just a Somerset thing. Yeah, wassailing, where you bless the apple trees. I didn't realise that was something that was done in Yorkshire. Maybe they've stolen it from us Somersetians, who knows. Oh, shout for the castle grid. Do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. Yeah, it's a shame I can't just go straight, because that's where I'm going. <laughs> but I've got to do quite a convoluted route around and up there. Hey, well, I've got all day, so it doesn't really matter, does it? It's not like I'm doing anything else. I'm definitely starting to feel... It's not raining, but I'm starting to feel like I'm entering a little bit of fog. It's just damp. So, as you've probably noticed, this video is a little bit different from stuff I've put out in the past. This isn't some big, long uh, cycle tour, unicycle tour. It's just me going out for a hike and going out for a little wild camp. And I think that's the kind of stuff I want to I wanna do a bit more of. I'm not saying I'm never going to do a big cycle tour again. I probably will. But I also want to experiment with other things. And I, I just want to be able to go out, film something for you know, one night, come back, edit it, get it out. Um, I think that sounds fun. <laughs> Rather than in the past, it's been go out for months, get back, with terabytes and terabytes and hard drives of footage, sit down and try and work out how to put that into something, make a series out of it, which takes, again, months. Um, and then by the time I'm getting the stuff out, I'm a bit sick of it. <laughs> and I want to move on to other things. I just think I want to do more stuff local to home. I want to do more stuff in the UK. And I want to commit to being here and, and exploring some of my own country. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So this is called West Scrafton. Again, a little village that looks like it could withstand a lot of storm. <laughs> yeah, I do like the buildings out in Yorkshire. I like the brickwork. It looks solid. What's going on in West Scrafton then? We've got some Christmas afternoon tea. We've got the wassailing. We've got a missing cat called Tabitha. And there's a there's a West Scrafton Parish meeting I mean, on the 24th of November. It's a few days' time. Well, there we are. Little Yorkshire village in the middle of nowhere. I'm assuming we're going this way. And heading further into the Dales. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I feel like I was quite lucky with the weather up until now. I'm not surprised that it's starting to rain. It is. Uh, late November. <laughs> oh man, I'm just going to be camping on a cloud, aren't I? I just know it. Yeah, I'm heading up into that. Oh no, we're losing it completely. <laughs> that mist is it's just covering it up. Yeah, I was definitely naming this place wrong before. It's called Great Ruver Crags, not Ruver Crag. Get it right, Ed. <laughs> and it's just behind that mist. Yeah, I'm leaving the, uh, the track now. I'm going to try and make our way this way. 
think this is the official footpath. Let's try and avoid sodden shoes, shall we? Ooh. I'll do. I'm going to have some food, I think, because I'm starting to get a bit hungry. That looks like a lunch rock if ever I saw one. Oh yeah, it's a wrap. I think this one's filled with curry. I'm not totally sure. Sometimes you just need a big hit of carbs. <laughs> it's kind of a bit, a bit nervous leaving today. I was like, oh, haven't haven't camped <laughs> by my lonesome for years. It's probably a good couple of years now. Um, so I think yeah, all the more reason why it's a good thing that I, I got out today. You know, just load some stuff into a bag go off on a walk, find somewhere to camp. All right, onwards up the hill, I think. Onwards up the hill. <laughs> this looks like good fun. Uh, problem with this sort of long, reedy grass is that it looks pretty, but you know that when you see it, you're just gonna be in for a lot of mud because they always seem to be on quite wet patches of ground, quite boggy patches of ground. I'm not seeing any footpath signs, which concerns me. Yeah, farmers don't want you coming through here, do they? Um, I'm pretty sure that was the path, but I might have got it wrong. My map suggests I'm on it. Oh, unfortunately, I do think this is the footpath, so I'm going to need to jump that. There we go. So I think I'm following this track for a while. So I think this will take me pretty much all the way to the top. Which makes easy walking, doesn't it? We've definitely made it up onto the moorland now. Yeah, it's all very spectacular up here. A lot of heather around. And you still see these patches where the heather is all kind of different colours. So it's sort of patchworky. That's where people managing this land as a burnt off sections. Apparently it stimulates growth of new heather um, to make it more lush and, and good to eat for the sort of wildlife that lives out here. Primarily uh, grouse, because uh, there's a lot of grouse shooting out here. So there we are. That's why the ground looks the way it does. Yeah, getting very close to where I was aiming to today. It's just up this track and then I'll hopefully find somewhere decent to uh, sleep for the night. Here we are then, we made it. This is called Great Roover Crags, and that's the shooting hut. I'm picturing gents in their, in their tweed suits and ties, coming up in their four by fours and coming to stay. I suspect the doors are locked, but I'm gonna try them anyway. Be interesting to look inside, wouldn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, they're all combination locks. Oh. Almost opens, eh? It's kind of fun. Ooh, watch out for that. me. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so the main hut isn't open, but there's this little kind of side room, which is. <sighs> oh, someone's been there before. I bet they were here in terrible weather. Thank you. I've got a choice to make then, haven't I? Do I set up camp somewhere around here? Or do I, do I chill out in there? Oh, it's good to know that if the weather gets super, super bad, at least I've got, I've got shelter there. Uh, bricked shelter. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just gonna sleep in there. <laughs> it's, it's not every day you get an opportunity like this, so why not? All right, let's have a little explore of uh, Great Ruber Crags, shall we? <laughs> Look at this place. Woo! 
<laughs> oh, amazing. Made it for sunset as well. Woohoo! <laughs> what a cool place. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't fall down there. That's dodgy. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> You know, I think, I think in the past I've kind of got in my own head that these videos need to be like better and each one needs to be better and I need to work longer on them and make these into like these big productions. I mean, I can if I want to, but equally, I, there shouldn't be anything stopping me just going out for a, for a night, just walk up a hill, go for a camp, make a little video about it. It's, it's something that I enjoy doing, so I should just do it, shouldn't I? I shouldn't get in my own head and think this needs to be something more because, you know, it's enough, isn't it? Just go out and spend a bit of time outside. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's the first sun I've seen all day. Oh. And it's going to last for about two minutes, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, no, this definitely makes the walk worth it. So pretty. wind is very cold <laughs> and I would like to get out of it. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's bitter, it's bitter. It's a little bit spooky being in here. I keep thinking that someone's gonna walk in, but I guess it could happen. <laughs> Tonight we've got carrots and sprouts and onion and noodles. That's the plan. It should be relatively quick. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. I'll be right. I'm still, still rocking the the petrol stove. It just runs on straight gasoline. So you open that up, and then we let a small amount of petrol out. That's it, it'll be more than enough, and then we light it. So yeah, this stove does take a little bit of nursing. If we get it right, nice, that's gone out. That's why I'm ready with the lighter, you see. The trick is letting petrol through without letting too much. Oh, shit. It's bunged itself up. Yeah, there's, there's no fuel coming through that. Damn. Yeah, there's no fuel coming through that at all. I don't know what happened there. Okay, let's turn it off and we'll try again. <laughs> Bugger. Yeah, I do like this stove, but it has been a little bit temperamental at times. Okay, should we try again? No, no, f no fuel's coming out of that line. That's not good. So with the camping gear, I always carry this tool, which is which came with the stove and it's got a really useful little attachment to it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny little pin at the end there. But if we get you off, then right down the middle, just unblock it. And I hope that would fix it. Sometimes it really is something that simple. So I'm just going to point this away. With any luck, some fuel should squirt out of there. There we go. Now we just reassemble it and we try again. And let's see if we can get us to light this time. There we go. Very good. Come on, stove. I'm hungry. I would like you to work, please. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe don't put your face right over it. Keep it going. Oh no, there we go. Too much. It's getting there. There we go. There we go. Get the pan on. And now we cook some onions. Okay. This is pretty much how I've done all my camp meals for the last God, God knows how long. I generally, yeah, put a bit of oil, put in any veg that I want, usually onions first, 
and then once the veg is kind of semi-cooked I'll then bung in a lot of water Woo! it's boiling now and then put in whatever kind of uh, carbs I'm, I'm cooking that night tonight it's noodles but it could be pasta or it could be rice I'm just doing noodles tonight because it's quite quick okay I'll do I can just stew for a bit longer. It's always so nice being able to turn off <laughs> that stove. It's so bloody loud. Oh. While I wait for the food to cool down, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up where I'm gonna sleep. I reckon I reckon this works because this is the widest bench. This is a bivy bag which I've never actually used before, but I think could work quite well. And at least it'll mean that my sleeping bag won't get covered in whatever filth is on these benches. There's a lot of bird poo around here. A sleeping bag. My second one does not keep you warm, but in tandem with the with the other sleeping bag, uh, it might actually be all right. It's just buying it. So. Great. That actually looks kind of comfortable. And I'll climb into that later. But first, food. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I'll just chop it up a little bit to make it easier to eat with a spoon. I just want to wolf this down. I just want to shovel it into my mouth. Oh, wow. Well. What a find. <laughs> got a chair, got a table. What more could you ask for? Got a bowl of noodles. Yeah, no, it's going to be a very cold night tonight. I'm very, very glad that I found this. It's like seven o'clock <laughs> and I'm going to bed. <laughs> Doesn't really feel like there's anything else that needs to be done. So I'm going to get an early night. Well, I've definitely had more uncomfortable nights than this. At least I'm warm. Yeah, it's actually incredibly warm with two sleeping bags and a bivy bag. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue tonight. The issue might be that I might fall off <laughs> this bench because it's not, it's not particularly wide. But there we are. Cool. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. bench very narrow one at that I spent half the night trying not to fall off this thing it's not warm I'll tell you that much oh right let's go see what's going on out there oh brilliant <laughs> I'm in a cloud. <laughs> oh, that's miserable, that is. Oh. oh, bloody hell. Probably turn that off now, can I? Woo. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I might go back to my hut. I'm going to get soaked out on this. Woo. Yeah, this is the camera I had running all night. He's still going. It's still running. <laughs> <laughs> How much water's on the lens? <laughs> Actually not much. So I have it plugged into a power bank and so that water doesn't get into the uh, into the contacts. I've got some blue tack 
Uh, the idea is that keeps out the rain and that was shooting the stars all night. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm getting back inside. That's nasty. All right, I should probably just pack up to be fair. At least I can get myself ready for when the weather clears up. It may not ever clear up. I may just have to go out on the wet, but that's fine. But I might as well pack my bag, have a bit of brekkie. Yeah, definitely feel like I made the right decision last night. Because I was considering just putting up the tent. I've got a tent with me. Um, cause I thought I could find somewhere just down, down by the rocks. Uh, but I'd have woken up in this and I just wouldn't want to leave until it had uh, cleared. Or at least here I've got a bit of space to kind of pack up and get ready and chill out. I'm not confined to a, to a windy tent. Yeah, it's proper nasty out there. Well, the weather's not great. But it's certainly better than it was. It's time to go. <laughs> See you, hut. Thank you for keeping me warm and dry. Oh. Dear me. See a great river crags. It's been fun. All right. I think this might be where I leave you. I think I need to need to focus on getting down from this hill uh, and not doing any more filming. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. <laughs> I certainly have. Uh, if you've got any ideas for where you'd like to see me camp next, please, uh, please let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, my, my mouth is going numb. Okay, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I was trying to do like a smooth walk by there. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, dear. Oh, well, that's the reality, isn't it? It is just so slippery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I try that again? I'm going to try that again. Oh, what a fool. <laughs>